Would you please stand? I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. All those who believe in me, though they die, shall live. I welcome you to St Cuthbert's Church, a church that Maureen knew and loved. We meet in the name of Jesus Christ, who died and was raised to the glory of God the Father. Grace and mercy be with you. Would you please be seated? We are gathered here today to remember Maureen Watson, to give thanks for her life, to commend her into God's care, to commit her body to be buried, and to comfort one another in our grief, in the hope that is ours through the cross and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I welcome you into this house of prayer, that here today you may know the peace of Christ. Let us pray. God of all consolation, you have not made us for darkness and death, but for life with you forever. Look on us with compassion. Give to our troubled hearts the light of hope and strengthen in us the gift of faith. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. Would you please stand if you're able as we join in singing our first hymn. The words are in your service sheets, Be Thou My Vision.
please be seated for our Bible reading. I have our Bible reading from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, beginning at the first verse. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Here ends the reading. I have a eulogy to read from Maureen's son, and Neville. Maureen was born in York, educated in Hertfordshire boarding school. The family moved back to the North East and later Maureen went on to train and qualify as an accountant. Maureen spent the majority of her working life at Newcastle University as a building project developer. And in 1984, she moved to Allendale. Maureen loved village life, loved community life, and she got involved with everything. She loved to paint, loved to read, had thousands of books. She loved the Labradors and the outdoor life. She's been coming to St. Cuthbert since 1984, when she moved here from the city. Maureen loved the country life and she went to farming shows every year. She started off with a small holding. She loved that, and she loved the life there. Maureen enjoyed retirement and had a full life. I heard that Maureen really missed coming to church and seeing friends and through lockdown Joining the worshipping community online uh, was a real godsend. And staying online afterwards for fellowship and friendship. Maureen loved helping out here at church with book stalls. Uh, she served tea and coffee. And was active in the life of the village and the whole area. She loved everything about it. Uh, there's so many things that Neville could mention. And now uh, Lorna uh, is, has a, a few words she'd like to share with us. Would you like to come forward, Lorna? Oh, well, Maureen was my big sister. And as I talk about her, I might say sisters, because there is an older sister, sadly, whose health isn't good and can't be with us today. She lives in Kent, but she sends all her best wishes to the rest of the family who's here. My earliest memories of Maureen was when I was an awkward, very little sister. And I remember both of my sisters spending Saturday afternoon getting ready to go to the local dance. And this started with them having a face pack. Me being me, I had to have the face pack as well. And I took tremendous interest in what they were wearing when they went out. Maureen was always career-minded and studious, always reading. She never went in for sewing or knitting. 
So imagine my surprise one day when she came home with yards and yards and yards of net light material, which she was going to sew to make a petticoat to make her skirt stand out, which was very much the fashion. I was very interested in this and probably watched every st st stitch that she made. And when it was finished, out of the kindness of her heart, there was enough material left, so she made me one. Considering she never liked sewing and it was not something she wanted to do, it was a gesture of pure kindness to make me this underskirt, which I enjoyed wearing. Obviously, going to dances, she met her first husband, Frank, who she had many happy years with, and the result of that is Neville, the nephew that I'm very proud of and very pleased with everything he's done with his life, as was Maureen. Sadly, that marriage broke up, and Maureen, independent to the end, carried on with her career, bought her own property, and lived very, very self-sufficiently until she met Terry. And then they married and moved to Allendale, where she was very, very happy, as the Reverend has said, within the community, joining in with all the activities. And until the end, she managed to live where she li loved and very, very independently, for which I'm very grateful for. And I would perhaps would like to thank the neighbours, Sarah and Jack, who did help them out an awful lot but she lived the way she wanted to, independently until the end. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Lorna. Our loved ones are still with us. We may not be able to see or touch, but they are with God, and so they are with us. Our faith in God's love and protection is a faith that death is not the end. And as an Easter people, we are a people of resurrection hope. And in this season of Eastertide especially, we celebrate that God loves each and every one of us and with a love stronger than endings and goodbyes. Our Bible reading that we heard uh, from the Gospel of John is to Jesus preparing the disciples for a goodbye, his own, and at the same time, a new beginning, a new life, with him. So we're all invited on a journey. Where are we going? I am the way, Jesus replies. My father's house, heaven, has many mansions. Thomas asks, where is this place? Jesus replies, I am the way. So the place then is a journey, the way. And we are invited on that journey with God all our lives. When we reach the end of our journey, we will be able to look back over our pilgrimage and take comfort from the love we have known and shared with family and friends, with Maureen, and know how much we have been changed by the journey. How much we have all been blessed. And God has been with us every step of the way. And for a while longer, we walk without Maureen until we are reunited to be where Jesus is. The way, the truth, the life. Our faith in God's love and protection is a faith in new beginnings with God. And we gather in church today believing we have been promised new beginnings, blessed by God's forgiveness and peace.
best blessed by God's grace. So we trust in God's loving mercy that here today the brokenhearted may be healed and find comfort and hope. And as we commend our loved ones to be borne up on the wings of God's love and as we commit our grief to God, let us give thanks for the memories we treasure with a trust in God that leads us all home, safe in the knowledge our loved ones are now in perfect peace, forever safe in God's keeping. And so we say goodbye to Maureen before God today in the sure and certain knowledge that she is safely in God's care. And as we grieve for Maureen, we do well to remember that while she is gone from us, she is forever safe in God's keeping. May she rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Now in a minute of silence, we each recall what Maureen has meant to us. Let us pray. God of mercy, Lord of life, you have made us in your image to reflect your truth and light. We give you thanks for Maureen, for the grace and mercy she received from you, for all that was good in her life, for the memories we treasure today. Most merciful God, whose wisdom is beyond our understanding, surround friends and family of Maureen with your love, that they may not be overwhelmed by their loss, but have confidence in your love and strength to meet the days to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for those who have cared for more in these past years, for family, friends, the community here in Allendale. Accept our thanks, O oh God, and make us ready to give as we have received. Merciful Father, you turn the darkness of death into the dawn of new life. In our loss, O oh God, we seek your presence in our uncertainty, your love. You are nearer to us than we know. Gracious God, we thank you for Maureen, the years we shared with her, the good we saw in her, the love we received from her. Now give us strength and courage to leave Maureen in your care. As Jesus taught us, let us pray together, aloud or silently, in our hearts, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now will you please stand if you are able, as we commend Maureen to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. 
Maureen, go forth from this world in the love of God the Father who created you, in the mercy of Jesus Christ who redeemed you, in the power of the Holy Spirit who strengthens you. May the heavenly host sustain you, the company of heaven enfold you in communion with all the faithful. May you dwell this day in peace. Amen. Would you please join us in singing our final hymn, Love Divine, All Love's Excelling. Now let us pray before we commit 
Maureen's body to be buried at Allendale Cemetery. Donations are greatly received towards the upkeep of St Cuthbert's Church and guide dogs uh, for the blind. And you are warmly invited to, um, to the hall for refreshments after the service. Um, the, uh, the burial is family only at the cemetery. Let us pray. Lord God, who brought us to birth and in whose arms we die, keep us mindful that life is short and the hour of death unknown. Let your spirit guide our days on earth in the ways of holiness and justice, that we may serve you sure in faith, strong in hope, perfected in love. And when our earthly journey is ended, lead us with Maureen into your heavenly dwelling where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Now let us ask for God's blessing on us. May God give to you and all those whom you love his comfort, his peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.